Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 Star Terror Raid event for Don Dozo is coming to Scarlet and Violet later this week. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video as well as some of the best builds that you can prepare in-game for when the event goes live. <laughs> As part of the Scarlet and Violet Summer Series, we're about to get into the second event of the summer. We're currently in the middle of the Pikachu and Pikachu themed outbreaks, but this Thursday we'll be moving over to a brand new debut seven star Terror Raid event for Don Dozo and the Tatsugiri outbreaks. You can see here Don Dozo with the Mightiest Mark will be making its seven star Terror Raid battle debut. The Don Dozo appearing during this event has the Water Terror type, during this event, look for mass outbreaks of curly form Tatsugiri throughout Paldea, mass outbreaks of droopy form Tatsugiri through Kitakami, and mass outbreaks of stretchy form Tatsugiri through the Blueberry Academy. Shiny Pokemon are more likely to appear in these special outbreaks, and this of course is running from Thursday the 25th of July and all the way up until the 8th of August. So it will be a continuous period of time. It's not going to start over this weekend and then finish. It'll be running from the 25th of July right up until the 8th of August, just before those Pokemon World Championships kick off the following week. Now, before we take a closer look at what this Dondozo might potentially bring into the 7-star Terror Raid, we've got some reference points because we already know that there is a 5-star and a 6-star Terror Raid event for Dondozo. If we look at the six star terror raid for Dondozo that's currently in our games, we get a good idea of the sort of things that we might see when this raid goes live later this week. Of course, it's got moves like wave crash order up there. It's kind of signature attacks. Heavy slam as well is something to keep an eye out for, for at least some coverage. And yawn as an additional move we might see there because that is a status condition. It will be a two turn move, but it can really disrupt your flow in battle. Rain Dance and Curse are its other moves that I would definitely suggest that it's probably got. And then if we take a look at the 5-star Dondozo raid as well, you can see that it's got pretty similar moves. The only outliers here are going to be things like Stockpile and Tickle, which are the other options here. So, like I say, we've got some good reference to go off for this 7-star Terror Raid, but of course things can change up as it is the mightiest Mark Dondozo, not just your regular 5- or 6-star Terror Raid that we're seeing in Paldea. So what I would expect to see from the Dondozo when it does go live later this week, I think it will have that 30 times multiplier to its HP stat. It's already got a huge HP stat, so I can't see it going 40 or 50 times multiplier. I think 30 times multiplier seems about right. If it follows suit with the previous 7-star Terror Raid events, it's going to have its hidden ability. Now, that is Water Veil, so that basically gives Dondozo immunity to the burn condition. And nothing else outside of that you really need to know about. Of course, it's going to be level 100, and its Terror type, like it's already been stated on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website, is going to be Water, so matching its base typing. So it's going to get that two times same type attack bonus on any Water type attacks. I'd imagine it will have Wave Crash. I do expect it to be a full physical Dondozo. It's primarily big attacks are going to be physical attacks and its largest attacking stat is going to be its physical attacking stat. So I imagine everything is going to be geared around that physical side, not the special side. But don't rule out any special attacking moves that might be there for coverage or just another way to throw damage out onto the field. Like I say, Wave Crash is going to be probably its most used water type attacking move. Avalanche, I feel like, really kind of fits into this set very well. Avalanche, one of those moves where it does double its power if it has taken damage previously in the turn. So that plays really nicely with that curse move that will be lowering the Dondozo's speed stat, but boosting its attack and its defense. Most of the time in those situations, it is going to be hitting second, so Avalanche is going to be hitting that much harder. And the ice coverage does give a way to get around those pesky grass types that would be hitting for super effective damage. So something... I think we need to keep an eye out for earthquake as well makes a lot of sense here it does get other ground type attack and moves but earthquake maybe stomp and tantrum might be an option that we do see on the dondozo and of course that gives coverage perfect coverage against electric type attackers that are going to be a bit of a pain especially for this water terror type order up feels like something that we are going to see just because it's on the five star terror raid it's on the six star terror raid and it is a signature move of dondozo going to be a dragon type attack so might make some builds some options that we're thinking about right now a little bit more tricky to bring into this raid and then our coverage options are going to be heavy slam which we've seen in the six star and the five star terror raid surf as well 
gives it a way to have rain boosted water type attacks that aren't on that physical spectrum and then body press as well because that does if we do see the curse that we've already talked about where it's boosting its defense stat and its attack stat then body press is a really nice option giving with that fighting coverage there and i think yawn is something that we have to consider it's on both the five star and six star dondozos it's a really great way to disrupt our side of the field like I say, it will hit one turn and then put us to sleep the second turn. So you're going to have to think about ways to get around that. And if you've had any experience before about facing a six star terror raid Dondozo, you'll know how infuriating that can be when you're trying to get into some sort of momentum swing in the battle. Curse we've already talked about, I think one of the best ways for Dondozo to really take advantage of that attacking stat, boost the power of those moves and make it a real threat. Rain Dance makes a lot of sense as well, boosting those already strong water type attacks. And then Tickle is another option I put here because it reduces our attack and our defense, making its damage output even more. So not the biggest amount of coverage that you would see on Dondozo or the widest array of supporting options that it's got. But I think if we narrow it down, we're probably going to see a set of Wave Crash, Avalanche, Earthquake with something like Curse. Yawn, Rain Dance, and then maybe Order Up are going to be the additional moves on it. That would be my best guess. So we can put together in-game some builds that kind of cover all bases here. But of course, it goes without saying, the builds that we feature in today's video are going to be all theoretically based. So depending on what the Dondozo has, its moveset when it goes live later this week, and how the raid interacts will make a big difference to what Pokemon are viable. So I would just err on the side of caution going into this raid. I think more than ever before, because it is the first time we've not had a starter Pokemon. There are a few questions up in the air with what this Dondoza will have. Will it have a held item? Will it have its hidden ability? And also the fact, like we've already mentioned, how it's going to interact with resetting its stat drops, resetting our stat drops throughout the raid. So it's probably worth waiting to put anything together in game until the raid actually goes live later this week. But if you do want to put some things together in preparation, then we'll cover them now. We'll go over a few builds that I've put together ready for this raid to go live for the first build that we are going to feature today of course all of these builds will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at them after this video is going to be leafy on now the big thing that we're going to have to watch out for with leafy on is if that dondoza does have access to avalanche if it does have access to that move it's going to make life very difficult for leafy on so that is going to be one of those things that we'll have to wait until the raid goes live. But otherwise, if it hasn't got the Avalanche, I feel Leafeon could be a very good option going into this raid. Grass Terra typing on it, of course. Shell Bell as the held item, level 100 and Hyper Train. So all those IVs are set to 31. The moveset we're going for is going to be Sunny Day. Sword Stance, Tickle and then Leaf Blade. And the ability here is the most important thing. Its base ability is going to be Leaf Guard. With the EV spread of 252 EVs in that HP and defense stat and the remaining EVs in attack with an adamant nature. The basic idea with the Leafeon is going to be getting that sunny day up turn one, disrupt the rain dance if the Dondozo sets it up. If it doesn't then you're already weakening those water type attacks that could come out from it. Then we've got a combination of Tickle. Now Tickle will work as long as the shield isn't up. That's going to reduce the Dondozo's attack and defense by one stage. So it makes sure that your Leaf Blades are hitting harder. And then Sword Stance, pretty self-explanatory. It is going to boost your attack stat by two stages every time you use it. And then with the Shell Bell item, and once you've Terrastalized, you're going to have a good line of recovery with that item. And you're going to have a really good, strong, damaging attack and move that has a high critical hit rate. So if the Dondoza does start using something like Curse, and you do land a crit, you're going to ignore all of those stack boosts. The only thing that I would say about the Leafeon is it is a physical attacker. I think primarily we want to be looking at special attackers going into this raid to be the premier kind of Pokemon to solo it with because Dondozo's special defense is way lower than its defensive stat. But Leafeon, I think, going to be a good option. The nice thing about the Leaf Guard is as long as the sun's up, you can't get affected by status conditions. So it does mean if that Dondozo does have Yawn, you're not going to be affected by it as long as the sun is active on the field. Next up is going to be Electivire. Electric type, Electric Terra type, Shell Bell as the held item, level 100, and of course, Hyper Trained. Now, the moveset that we've got on the Electivire is going to be Bulk Up, Screech, Taunt, and Thunder Punch. 
The EV spread is going to be again 252 EVs in HP, 252 EVs in defense and the remaining EVs in attack with an adamant nature. Now the most important thing here is the ability Vital Spirit. This means that the Electivire isn't susceptible to getting put to sleep so the Dondorzer can yawn us as many times as it wants. We are not going to be affected by that sleep condition. Taunt here is going to be used to prevent potentially as long as the shield's not up those curses from the Dondozo. Screech is a nice way to lower that defense stat by two stages every time we land it. Bulk up, great move. It's going to boost our attack and our defensive stat by one stage every time we use it. So meaning we're going to be able to have more damage output and take less damage from those big threatening attacks from the Dondozo. And then Thunder Punch is the move of choice. It's probably the best physical electric type attack that the Electivire has got, but I do think could be a good option, one to look at, and definitely one I'm looking forward to testing when the raid goes live. Next up is an old favorite that we've had very good success in previous seven star terror raid events, Appleton. Now there is a few caveats again here. If there is Avalanche, if there is Order Up, which is probably more likely than the Avalanche, gonna give Appleton a hard time early on in this raid because of its part dragon type and so it is gonna have that weakness it has a four times weakness to ice type attacks as well so if we do see those two options it's probably worth testing Appleton if you've already got it in your game but there's no guarantees to say it's gonna have an easy time but it could potentially do very well in this raid it hits on the special side of Dondoso's defense so for, for that reason alone it's something that I'm not leaving out Grass Terror typing, of course. Shell Bell as a line of recovery for the Held item. Level 100, hyper trained, of course. Moveset is going to be Sunny Day, Growth, Iron Defense, and Apple Acid. The EVs are going to be 252 EVs in Special Attack, 252 EVs in Defense with a Modest Nature, and those remaining EVs just put into HP. The ability here is very important, especially if it does have Avalanche. That halves the damage taken from any fire and ice type attack. So essentially turning the four times weak ice type attack into just a two times weak attack. Now, if you combine that with something like Iron Defense, it's going to boost your defense by two stages. It's going to mean that you're able to take those threatening attacks like your order ups, like your avalanches a lot easier throughout the raid. So that could play a big part in allowing Appleton to kind of function in this raid. Sunny Day, we've already talked about it. Get rid of the boost to those water type attacks. And then Growth also is complementing the Sunny Day where you'll get a two times stack boost to your attack and your special attack when you use that move. Then Apple Acid, brilliant move because it's going to lower the special defense on the Dondozo by one stage every time you use it. And it's going to get you closer to that point of being able to Trastlize. So when you can remove that Dragon typing, if it does have order up, you become a lot safer in the raid, especially with the thick fat. So... I think for solo builds, this could have a lot of potential going into the raids. And one that I am looking to probably test first of all out of everything else. But just because of those potential threats of Avalanche and Order Up, I do have my reservations about this one. But otherwise, I think Appleton could be a great Pokemon going into the Dondoso raid. Next up, another familiar face is going to be Belly Ball. We've had a lot of success also with 7-star Terror Raids in the past with Belly Ball. It is again going to be one of those Pokemon along with the Appleton and the Leafeon that's available in the base game. So giving you a lot of options, even if you haven't got the DLCs, to have Pokemon that could potentially be very good against the Dondoso. Now, like we've talked with our grass types, the avalanche being a big threat there. I think if the coverage move that we see on Dondozo is earthquake, electric types are going to have a very difficult time because that's going to be the one thing that all electric types aren't going to want to see. And for that reason, I feel like we could potentially see earthquake just to make this raid that extra bit harder. Electric terror typing, the held item is going to be the expert belt, level 100 hyper trained, of course. And then the moveset is going to be Reflect Acid Spray, Chilling Water, and Parabolic Charge. The ability, of course, is going to be Electroamorphosis. And the EV spread is going to be, again, 252 EVs in Special Attack and in Defense with the remaining EVs in HP and a Modest Nature. Basic idea is going to be going for Reflect Turn 1. It's going to half the damage taken from any of those physical type attacks coming out from the Nondozo. Then we can use a combination of Acid Spray that's going to reduce the special defense on the Dondozo by two stages every time you use it. Even through the shield, Chilling Water is going to be another nice option, even though it's not hitting for effective damage. You're still going to be lowering the attack stat on the Dondozo every time you use it, so essentially weakening it, making your Reflect a lot stronger and the ability to stay on the field a lot better. 
the parabolic charge is going to be our main attacking move which we're going to use after those acid sprays especially after you can terrestrialize and that's going to be our line of recovery as well why we went for the expert belt just for that additional power because the parabolic charge is going to be our line of recovery throughout the raid so you'll rely on that whenever your health is at that lower point belly bone one of those ones that i think could be potentially pretty good but i'm a bit hesitant on just because of the earthquake there the curse combination that the don dozo has i think it might be quite difficult for the belly bolt to function in this raid now the other thing that i would say you might want to change is going to be that chilling water or the reflect i would say change those if we do see yawn to the electric terrain so you're going to get a boost to your parabolic charge and you're also going to have complete immunity to the yawns that could potentially be coming out so like i say i would probably go over reflect or chilling water with that as an option but that's something that we can dictate when the raid goes live this later this week. I think everyone is really expecting Yawn to be an option on the Dondozo. So it might be a curveball where Yawn just isn't a thing at all and it's not necessary. So something like this set will be a little bit more preferable. Next up is going to be Iron Leaves. Now, for those of you that took part in the Paradox Terror Raid events in the past for the Iron Leaves and the Walk and Wake, you're going to have this Pokemon in your game. And I do think something that could be very good against the Dondozo for a few reasons. Grass Psychic type as its base typing, going to be a Grass Terra type, is going to have the same issues as the other Grass types in the format with that Avalanche potentially being a bit of a threatening move. Shell Bell held item as a line of recovery. Make sure that your Iron Leaves is set to level 100. We haven't leveled ours up yet, but just make sure that it is. The move set generally going to be the Electric Terrain, Sword Stance, Iron Defense and Leaf Blade. Hawk Drive, the ability and the EV spread 252 HP and defense with the remaining EVs in attack and an adamant nature. Basic idea is get that electric terrain up turn one. It's going to prevent those yawns from being very effective. It's also going to activate your Hawk Drive as well, give you an attack boost. So making you a lot stronger. Iron Defense is there, so you're able to take the big flurry of physical type attacks that are coming out from the Dondozo. Sword Stance boosts your attack by two stages every time you use it. Then you're relying on Leaf Blade after that point where you've got the high critical hit rate again if the dondozo is relying on curse throughout the raid to boost those defenses and you land a critical hit you'll ignore those and do a little bit more damage so something to consider if you're a big fan of iron leaves i do think has potential to do well in this raid just because of the ways it can boost its defense it can set up the electric terrain to have the immunity to the yawn a ways to boost its attack and stat and a very strong attack and move that's going to do a super effective damage to the dondozo of course we can't cover our electric types without mentioning Mariodon. It is going to be electric type, electric terror type. Shell Bell is the held item here with the moveset of Metal Sound Charge, Electro Drift and Reflect. And I think depending on how the Dondoza interacts in the raid, this could change up a lot. If the shield doesn't go up very early, Metal Sound's a great idea. You could also go with Calm Mind over the charge. There's a lot of possibilities and you've also got the ability to change Electro Drift into something like Parabolic Charge. So you've got a line of recovery, you change your held item there. I think the Mariodon set, if it's viable in this raid, could change up drastically. But the basic idea with this is going to be Reflect Turn 1. You're already going to have the resistance to those wave crashes through the Dragon Typing. You just need to watch out for those order ups and those avalanches if they are an option on this Pokemon. Charge is great. Electro Drift is going to hit for super effective damage. And the Metal Sound, like we've already mentioned, lowers the Dondos of special defense by two stages every time you use it. So meaning that your damage output is going to be increased and you're hitting on that special side of the spectrum as well. Hadron Engine is the ability. And I would suggest the EV spread on this, just 252 in special attack, 252 in defense, and then the remainder in HP. So that's something that I'm really waiting on the Dondos are going live with before actually putting that set together in game and a special mention of course before we leave i think annihilate is going to be another very good option going into this raid for a lot of reasons it has the ability vital spirit just like the electivire and because you're going to be taking a lot of attacks from the dondozo i do think rage fist could be a good option uh, i think level 100 of course ghost terror typing you're not going to be hitting for super effective damage but you kind of don't need to with rage fist and how it interacts in a raid shell bell is the held item for a line of recovery Taunt's going to be there to potentially stop any curses or set up from the Dondozo. Screech is going to be there to reduce the defense stat on the Dondozo by two stages every time you use it. Bulk up, boosting your attack, your defense stat, and then Rage Fist going to be your main attacking option. The only thing, like I've mentioned, is I probably wouldn't have the Defiant ability here. I'd have it as Vital Spirit, which is one of its base abilities. 
and then the HP and defense are going to be maxed out with EVs and the remainder are going to be put in attack with an adamant nature. But I do think if you already got an Annihilate, it might be something worth considering this weekend. I think with Vital Spirit as its ability, I think could be a very good option and one not to forget about. It also has the ability to learn Sunny Day as well. So you have a way to reduce the damage of those water type attacks if they are a bit too much in the early start parts of the raid. But Annihilate, I think, could be a very good option going into this like always. But we may have faster options elsewhere with one of the ones that we've covered already in today's video. Like I say, they're all down in the comments section below if you want to take a closer look at them after the video but more importantly let me know what you're thinking about bringing into the Dondoza. what are your big plans for soloing it when it goes live later this week if you've got builds in mind do drop them in the comment section down below It'd be great to read through them and see what your thoughts are for this raid and of course don't forget when the raid goes live we will be dropping a best solo build after that so once we've done some testing we'll put out the best build most effective build and most consistent build you to solo through in your games if you don't want to miss that make sure you do hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you get the note if as soon as that video drops which should be about an hour to two hours max after the raid goes live and uh, if you've enjoyed today's video do drop a like thank you so much for tuning in friends we'll leave it there looking forward to this one dropping later this week have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care and bye bye